There's so many challenges with revenue and profit sharing systems today that we believe we've created a solution. Hi, I'm Realtor Jeff Glover. And before I share the solution, I wanna share with you the eight challenges that exist in revenue and profit sharing models today. Challenge number one, there's absolutely little to no control over the second, third, fourth, fifth lines and so on. In fact, in most cases, agents in your third, fourth, fifth line, you might not even know their name or if they exist. And the challenge with that is you can't give those agents the same support, the same training, the same influence, the same knowledge, the same tools to go out and succeed like you can your own agents. Number two, and this one's a big one. Agents that are in your downline automatically are going to assume you're their leader. And so the challenge with that is if the company isn't providing the leadership that they require, there's only one other person they're going to go to, the person that brought them in. And you go from having a passive income to a very active income because now you have to t spend time, energy, and effort pouring into someone so that way you can receive the revenue share that was supposed to be passive. And that's challenge number two. Challenge number three that I see with revenue share today, there's too much pressure to recruit other recruiters so you can get your other lines unlocked. And the challenge with that is because you don't have span of control over the other recruiters, they now are in a position where if they don't develop others like you do, you could be spinning your wheels and putting yourself in a position of going out and spending time, money, and energy, bringing on potential recruiters that will work for you to open up other lines in your downline only to find that the people they're bringing are unproductive and not selling any homes. And that ultimately doesn't do you any good. Challenge number four, the amount of compensation that's paid on the first line is too low. In fact, this is what's causing so many people in these revenue share or profit sharing models to have to go out and again, hire more people that can recruit for them because of the amount of money that they're going to make on their first line. Well, your first line is who you have the most level of control over. Your first line is who you have the most influence. Your first line is who you can make the greatest impact on. So that line should actually be paid at the most. Challenge number five, depending on the brokerage or company, if the value proposition isn't strong enough, what I'm seeing that's flawed in some of these systems is the influencing agent or the lead agent who's bringing people into their downline or their tree is having to reinvent a value proposition. They're having to add additional values, things like training and coaching, things like lead generation, actually buying leads. Well, at that point in time, you're just operating a real estate team. That's not passive at all. And so with a lack of a value proposition or at least a strong one from the brokerage, it's up to the lead agent to provide that so that way these agents will stay with you. Again, that's not passive at all and that's challenge number five. Challenge number six, specifically with profit sharing models is the profit is usually based after all of the expenses are taken out including brick and mortar, or even if the model doesn't include brick and mortar, there's still expenses that are removed before the profit is shared. Well, the challenge that agents have with that type of a model is you usually have no say or no input or even any control over those expenses. And so you're limited on your profit share percentage because you can't have input on how the money is spent. And that's challenge number six. Challenge number seven, and we're seeing this industry-wide, is when people, especially in the beginning years, sign up for a revenue share or a strong profit share system, is their actual personal production and or their team's production takes a decline, sometimes slight, sometimes drastic. Why is that? Well, that's just basic uh, 101. Less time spent on listing and selling real estate, more time spent on recruiting. This is go something's going to have to give. And so when you take time away from here to spend time over here, you're going to have to see a decrease in your sales. We're seeing that across the board. And that's challenge number seven. And finally, challenge number eight in the revenue or even profit sharing system, we're seeing the amount that agents are paid is based out of company dollar, especially in a revenue situation. In a revenue situation, if it's paid based off of company dollar, and the brokerage splits today are 80-20s, 85-15s, 90-10, the percentage of company dollar is small. So you're receiving a percentage of 10% or a percentage of 15% or a percentage of 20%. We're in a team model, generally speaking, the company dollar per transaction is higher. Sometimes it's 30, 40, 50, 60, even 70% of the transaction dollars that come in go back to the team. And so your revenue share percentage would be based off of a higher company dollar amount. And that's challenge number eight. So here's the deal. 
I took those eight challenges that I see in the revenue sharing and profit sharing models today, and I put together Glover Agency Revenue Share to solve all eight of those challenges. I came up with a solution that's gonna put more money in agents' pocket, less time spent managing, less time spent coaching, less time spent training, nothing with the value proposition and getting paid a lot more on the front line. If you wanna learn about it, go to gloveragency.com forward slash careers. That's gloveragency.com forward slash careers and we'll see you soon.